Yeah. Hi friends, hope you're well. Um, today is January the fourth. So yeah, um, cause it's a new year. Like I've told you guys before, every time you travel outside of with the, the area, that's if you work in Orap, but you're required to go for COVID tests. So yeah, I'm about to go do that. Um. <laughs> I'm pretty anxious because every time when we're like back from holidays and like have traveled out for a long period of time there's like a queue and sometimes they even cut the queue and they tell you to go back so I think I'm a little late I should have been a lot earlier but yeah <laughs> we'll see about that I think so <laughs> Hi everyone, um, welcome back. Yeah, I took a few days off vlogging because I kind of had a situation. So today is Monday the... Is it the 10th? Is it the 10th or the 9th? Yeah, one of the two. Oh no, it's the 10th. Today's Monday, the 10th, and boy, to have a situation for you guys. So when I last saw you, I had said I'm going for COVID test because it's routine, right? Guess what? From gaps, I always have to test and stuff. Fine, went to get tested, results were negative and all. Cool. But yeah, situation is um the day when i arrived i was with a friend of mine someone to very close to my heart anyway i was with a friend of mine and they were showing like flu-like symptoms and i was like <laughs> you have to go get tested i was around that person for a while because we we had pizza together but the ones that were good in game we had pizza together sat for a while and i was like you don't know but you're not well. You need to go get tested tomorrow. I'm also going to get tested because it's going to one thing. And that same day that I tested negative, that person tested positive. You. Right? So, yeah. Because I can't stay at home just because the person I was with tested positive. I had to go to work. I go to work the first day after. I had a bit of a cough. The night of actually the person told me they were positive i was like ah, maybe it's me just imagining things okay fine the following day um i was actually dropping off the covid packages i think you would have seen in my december vlog that my company does this very good initiative where um my colleagues that get covid or if anyone gets covid you know we prepare like a care package for them yeah so i was with a colleague of mine we were dropping those off and then during that day i had like a drive through it i was like maybe i'm not drinking enough water i had on the whole sitting today like the very strong ones i had strepsils and i was still the same so i was like you know what usually hold out the way my three days um to test to confirm if indeed you're positive so yeah i was like no i'll test m friday morning when i get to work because by the mine entrance pcc mine entrance there were like um what you call spots set up where they were testing people like you could literally just test and go into the mine so fine i test in the morning cool spend the whole day at work i'm all right nothing's happening to me and then this is friday this is friday guys we knock off right at three ish i get my phone i see two unfamiliar numbers but they're very similar i find 11 missed calls from one and two from another and they've been calling me since like 10 a.m and i was like yeah no it's late so yeah guys it is a positive for covid on friday today's a monday so yeah the lady that called me was so nice i just want to talk about my experience because i don't know i want to credit the healthcare workers and i just want to go through this with you guys 
you know i don't know what's gonna happen maybe right now i'm fine maybe things are gonna change but still i want to share this experience with you guys because yeah this is my life this channel is my life and i want to share what i can with you guys right so yeah the lady that called me was so sweet she's like hi emma i was like i was at work and she's like yeah why did you test i was like Ish. I, I i just felt the need to test because yeah the coughs or whatnot and yeah she's like yeah do you know your results can i tell you your results i just giggled i was like um, i think i know because usually when you test negative you just get a text you don't get a call but when you get a call you know so yeah the lady was very sweet hey? she told me um you're going to have to go into isolation um apparently now it takes eight days and not the 10 days that we're used to so i got in friday now only the seven friday evening i get all get a chase i get into the house do all the weekend and on saturday now i'll be back to school go to travel guys I wasn't sure if I was going, but yeah, the little weekend, I thought of going to um, Dre, there's a hand called Dre, I love her guys, Dre's games night at the Hive, she has a car wash, you should check it out if you're in Zoa, definitely when I'm done with quarantine, I'm going there guys, I've been postponing, but anyway, I'm rambling, yeah, I thought of going to her games night, now do little because it must have been, so yeah, um i just thought i should talk to you guys about it and go through this experience with you guys um yeah it's really nothing i don't know how to say it i don't want it to seem like i'm doing this for clout or anything because i had a moral dilemma or should i document this and i thought my vlog shouldn't just be fun time and good times it should be my life entirely through it all so yeah i wanted to be as realistic as i could so yeah today's a monday i've been in the house the whole weekend but i was scared i didn't want to expose because i live in a multi res i didn't want to expose my my neighbors to me so today because most of them everyone's at work i can go outside and get some fresh air um just took a bath like a I got my lutu from my colleague, um, and I'm just now cooking it. But it's like expired. Also, I thought I should take this time away as as a time to pause and reflect and work on my goals and ambitions for this new year. So yeah, um, I'm going to try to be as productive as I can with my life in these ten days and plan financial plans go plans for 2022 and see um where it takes us i don't take this as a negative thing that i caught covid in the first week of the year i actually think it was god trying to do something um lately when certain bad things happen sometimes i i try to pause and think i'm not the most faithful you know religious person but sometimes i think back and i'm like it happened for a reason i've never had covid in the past two years that it's been around but i think this is god I'm trying to make me stop and pause so yeah um today i just want to try and journal you remember when i got my friends those diaries from exclusive books this is the one that i got myself i never showed it to you guys so it says he will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will what kiss the earring you'll find refuge psalms 91 verse 4 this is my mother's favorite verse i didn't even know that when i bought it but yeah i think it's very special that it's my mother's favorite verse so yeah i'm gonna try and journal i want to try and start this 21 day um prayer that my mom shared with my sister and i because another thing i want to work on this year is my faith guys i haven't been to church in so long i don't want to lie i don't pray that much but i want to work on it guys because i can't survive on my own understanding 
I need to accept that the Lord God is my savior. So yeah, I wanna try and work on my faith. So I'm gonna journal down while I'm doing the 21 day prayer. Oh yeah, and yeah, I got these a while ago. Malolake look gifts, not even get Christmas. The first part of my vlog before Christmas, Kabo D6. Can I have the first vlog I'm about to upload before this one? Yeah. This is from Pep Wagon City, the one in the new wing. Yeah. So I'm gonna try and journal, eat breakfast, and then journal, and then I get some fresh air outside. So yeah. Surely we're gonna overcome this. I'm so sure of that. Today I'm feeling just okay, guys. I don't wanna lie. I thank God for my good health thus far. So I'm feeling just okay. Also, take note, um, I'm vaccinated. But I have also realized that Omicron, thankfully enough, it doesn't seem like the worst variant we've had. Because I have a friend of mine who prefers not to get vaccinated, but she was fine during the entire time. So I'm thankful that we're all in good health despite having COVID. Even my other friend that's currently in isolation is in good health. So yeah, I hope it continues that way. I really hope it continues that way and God continues to protect and provide for us because we've lost way too many people that we love to this virus. And we hope to see the day that it's gone away. So yeah, this is 10 minutes of me talking. I can ramble on, guys. This is why sometimes I avoid the talking parts in my vlogs. Because I know when I start talking, I don't stop. So yeah, let's get on with my day. Bye. <laughs> just received this package from work um so yeah you remember the covid packages that i talked about it just received mine so it's from we make it through my gifts and blossoms those are the details so yeah in case you ever want to do any packages you know yeah get more soon From work guys so let's unwrap it together let's see what's inside hey guys can I get the like we're like one hand yeah ah. ignore the background guys I can't redo this ignore the background oh so we have like a movie bar, the little two of them. I used to love this so much. I used to love buying this energy bar a lot. Um, a little yogurt, you know, fruits, grapes, nyama. I like how it's curated, it's well curated. Peanuts, yeah, guys, more peanuts and raisins. The juice, mango, nyama, orange, nyama, simba, nyama, you know, the likes. So I realized I just didn't take a picture. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm so grateful, guys, to my employer, my Muhiri. Yeah. Day seven of eight. And my washing is outside, but it's raining. Even a neighbor of ours washing it couldn't say, but it's raining, guys. Probably the young no one when it's raining and your washing is on the line. You just let it get wet, you put it in the house, but we're in the house. Let me show you any that I present. Okay. Ari, you know what? You guys are exhausting. I'm going away. Please don't go. 
Bani. I am a Tabani. 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 I How oh, high is it? I'm making space for them. Okay. Lady Solo has a lens on him. Okay. Okay. This is paper and then conference room. Gwena Park. That's all be in before. We'll come back again, guys, when it's complete. And all the animals are back here. Because right now, apparently, it's just the one. Ma? Which restaurant? Hey, I shall let it be. Hey, Corey, a lot of Vita Corey, Vita Corey, Vita Vita, 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 Let's 
Shun and Shun. I don't know what you have to do. 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 I don't know I don't know I want to cry, but I've been here like two or three times. But today, because it's rained, it's so gorgeous. Ugh. Batum. No, man. Let's get to the bottom, then I'll shoot again. Phew. So, it's a bit slippery in the pan. It's not that wet, but it's kind of slippery. So, yeah. I almost slipped and fell, guys. <laughs> Imagine you know, when it's like rained heavily because it's just January so the rains aren't that heavy but there's a bit of it's wet you get it Yo, look it's red on my feet but yeah it's not that bad but imagine you know, when it's like rained like heavily <laughs> Look at the sky. It's the color of love. You gave me the kiss of life. Kiss of life. Oh! Mm. You gave me the kiss of life. I kiss of life. Let's go. But how did that say? But anyway, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not